Hi everyone, I'm Patricio Guerra. Today I'm going to show you how I did this painting or this illustration. The idea behind is take inspiration into the fiery tale of the Beauty and the Beast to create a painting uh, where we contrast these two big elements that is uh, a beast, an evil creature or character that is going to attack or threaten a beauty or a kind, innocent uh, creature. Originally for this concept I was thinking that I was going to be more accurate to the fairy tale and I included another element that was this character that is in the middle. So my idea was to have an evil character, a beautiful character like a flower and have a beast in the background that is going to see or help the, um, the flower. Uh, the concept didn't work out. Uh, I was trying to see if I could put it off this till the end. But I, eventually I erased the beast in the, in the background. But I maintained the two main elements, the ones that you see here. Uh, the technique that I was trying to simulate uh, was like a scraper board. I was trying to aim uh, to have a similar finish to the ones that you get on the scraper board for the ones who are not uh, familiarized with this style, with this technique. Gives you a feeling like if you are carving on a surface. And that's why the inking process here will be very different from what you might be expecting so far. Uh, right now I'm defining uh, the composition of this painting. Uh, I have the main element who is in the center of this page and is the character who is coming out from this hole, from this circle. Originally with the character on the top, my idea was that all the main elements are aligned, or all the elements are aligned and you can read them as an um, arrow that is coming from le left to bottom right. Um, when we finish the sketch, uh, you'll see the sketch is not very detailed, um, but we are going to keep working on that a little more. So I'm trying to see right now proportions and looking how it works with the rest of the elements to get something accurate. And now we are starting in a more detailed sketch. Although it's very, very rough, it is a little bit more defined than what was before because before we just had blocks of things. Um, I decided that the main evil character will, is going to be a female figure um, as you can see so far my idea was to try to represent her as if she is the bringer of death uh, something like you can see the skull and all his bones or most of his bones While the cute little thing is going to be a flower, something so fragile in, in nature that anything or anyone can hurt her. And at the same time, so pretty and beautiful that anyone will try to protect her at, this, at the same time. As you can see, I'm trying to place all the features of the face of the flower and of the um, evil creature, trying to maintain the perspective. Um, what you're seeing right now, I was trying to work the silhouette of this um, beast that is in the background. Um, but as I'm saying don't pay too much attention to that because I erased that completely. 
a tiempo. Because we had all the composition resolved from the beginning, I'm just placing the elements that we are going to work with as a base. And then I'm starting to work in the middle. As you can see, something like the inking that I'm doing is using very, very bold, uh, blocky, a little square lines because that is the kind of a style that I'm trying to replicate from the scraper board and the lines are in some parts very blocky uh, straight not uh, tiny there's not variation on the size of of the brushwork anything of that I'm trying to aim for some kind of consistency and patterns in this um, technique so as you can see the lines ends and begin in this uh, square uh, ends or points that is exactly what we are trying to get For the use of color that we are going to have, I try to maintain this very, very simple. I'm using black as the main thing. Um, most of the painting will be a solid black, but we are going to have a very subtle use of color for the flower. And for the evil creature that is in the middle, I want to have as much contrast as possible and that I can aim only with black and white. In the same way as we did with the flower, as you can see, the, the creature is the same style of lines and we are not using tiny, tiny lines. Um, it's more like a block of lines or a block of color that forms the lines of this creature. I'm trying to maintain the perspective for the head because my idea is like we are looking how she is putting uh, his body through this hole like if she has opened the surface or this environment and is trying to achieve or is trying to get to the flower from a different dimension. As you can see, everything in the body of this creature is reinforcing the detail that is something evil or grotesque. Uh, I try to make her as uh, skinny as possible and his fi her fingers end in these pointy edges that make her threatening. The feeling what, that we are doing right now on the flower is to give this kind of uh, impression that if it's uh, carved on the surface. The way that this uh, technique works in traditionally in a physical world is that you have a solid uh, surface, black, blue, whatever color that you have, and you have a tool that is going to carve or make uh, marks on this but taking off parts of this material from the surface and in that way the material that is left is what is going to build this illustration and in order to get this illustration because we are carving is like we are working uh, taking out the negative space in that way, uh, the things that are going to be left are the ones that we want to transmit to the painting. So you cover this with ink and then you put that, uh, you put paper on top and with a tool, a spoon or something, you press the paper on top of this. Uh, you keep applying some kind of force to it 
and then the information will be transferred. And all the parts that you see that in here are mm, white or that are in color, in theory, in the surface, are going to be the parts that we carve. And when we do this, is where we get these um, square blocky lines that we see all around the illustration. Of course, because we are doing this in a traditional, uh, sorry, in a digital way, I'm somehow cheating um, because I'm adapting the, the process to my needs and I can erase and redo some details here if I didn't like them. That is something that we cannot do in the traditional medium because if, if you do the wrong line or if you carve in the wrong place uh, I'm not going to say that it's destroyed but you cannot amend that well right now we are just trying to include more details on the female figure because that one is the um, threatening one I want people to see first her and then notice what she is trying to get and the uh, figure looks a bit like a skeleton uh, not a lot of flesh on the body that is going to reinforce this idea that she is uh, bringing danger of or death to the flower and to reinforce the idea that she is opening the space by force I'm including these irregular shapes on the circle that uh, from my perspective uh, will try to explain that this hole was open or it's been created by forces like if you're breaking in but now that I see that again yeah, after uh, while that I did this painting, it, it looks more like a, if there's a sun behind her. That is not what I was trying to achieve, but looks more more like like that. In terms of composition, the creature that was in the background was creating a lot of noise and was doing the a contrary effect that I was trying to get. That's why we didn't. In, I didn't include uh, at the end. All the colors that I'm using are something that have a lot uh, brightness and very little saturation. Uh, it's to give this impression that is a sad thing uh, as, as the message that we are going to transmit is sadness that's why uh, I'm not filling in this with very bright saturated colors that will rain that will be contrasting with the message as you can see now hair compared with the background stand out a lot uh, we had more contrast with the white background uh, for the circle um, but I want to maintain the color palette, palette somehow consistent that's why we are using these uh, yellow tones well guys thank you very much for watching I hope you like it if you want to see more content like this please uh, follow me on my social media and you can see more of my speed paintings, uh, these narrated videos on my Patreon account. If you can help me, I can keep creating more of these and I hope you like it. I want to share my art with a lot of people and please take a look. If you want to get merch and art prints, you can check my Redbubble store and my art station store. And thank you again for watching. See you in the next one.